Alright then, here we are. I've... you guys have no idea how much I've wanted to play this game. Okay, so I watched the anime maybe a few years back, and I knew it was based off of the game, because I looked it up and I was I was wondering what it was. And... not not to be confused with the other horror game, but like... the anime was pretty good, but it didn't have enough closure. <laughs> As, you know, animes based off of these type of games normally do. They have to make you feel like you got to experience everyone's route without actually giving you a definite ending. So... This game has... Like, it says 2015 down there, but that's bullshit. It's been out for much longer than that. And it has only just recently come out in English. And I have been waiting for this day. Like... You can ask anyone that's very close to me. I screamed the day I heard that this was finally in English. So, I'm going to share this wonderful hyped up experience with you guys. I've waited for this for maybe, oh my gosh, it's three or four years at least. So, <laughs> here we go. Amnesia Memories. I might reference the anime a little bit, but... Then when I get out of my depths, you'll understand. <laughs> when I get out of my uh, out of my depths, I'm stuttering. I'm so excited. Okay, let's just go. Um, oh, oh, yes, sanity controls. Ah. Hello? Uh... Huh. He hello? Are you... Are you alive? Uh... This- this is- this is bad. If they find out I kill a human, I'll- I'll get executed. Oh. Oh, you're awake. Oh, thank god. How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Oh, thank goodness you're alive. I was really surprised. I thought maybe I had, you know, accidentally killed you and whatnot. <laughs> ah, no. Uh, I'm not in the least bit shady at all, really. I swear. It's not like I hit you with the blunt object or pushed you off a cliff or ran over you with you, ran you over with a car. <coughs> <laughs> so to explain who exactly I am. Well, I am just a spirit who happened to lodge himself into your consciousness. That's who I am. Yep. No nothing? No reaction to who I am or to the situation you're in right now? That's it? That's all I get? Hey, hey, are you okay? You can, you can see me, right? Can you see me? <laughs> okay, now this is my actual character. I'm gonna use my normal voice for Orion, but I think I'm gonna use a really super feminine voice for me. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't see how any of these actually matter. I see something not human. Uh, huh. Uh, well, you're not wrong, but it's amazing that you're able to say something like that so calmly. You know, if you could put it a bit more nicely, I'm at least human-related. <sighs> anyway, I'm glad you can at least see me. I'm, I mean, there's a start. Still, you're really calm. I thought the moment you wake up, you'd be like, oh, uh, Where am I? Who are you? Or, or something like that. But, wait, your personality didn't fly off with your memories, did it? Uh... Uh... 
Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, well, well, for now, um, let me explain things from the beginning. That might help, wouldn't it? I'm Orion. I'm a spirit from a distant world. I was on my way to the human world for some business, and by accident, I sort of, uh, collided with your mind a little bit. I don't understand it myself, but for some reason, I'm trapped inside your soul now. It looked like you lost consciousness from the impact. And, well, <laughs> this is kind of hard to say, but... It kind of looks like your memories get addled, too. <laughs> ah, isn't that that's something? What a mess. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Go ahead and yell at me. I deserve it. I know, I said a lot of things that probably don't make sense to you, but please say something. No, I understood. I, I got it. Uh, wow, really? You you got all that? I get. I guess you did just wake up in a weird place with someone not really human talking to you. You had no choice but to leave me given to believe me given the circumstances, huh? Uh huh. His mouth moves even though the dots didn't say anything. <coughs> I'm really sorry for my carelessness. I'll do anything to help get your memories back. Besides, if I don't, I'm not sure I'll be able to separate from you. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think I'm trapped inside the place where your memories used to be. Think about it, your memories were pushed out by the amount of space I took up. So if your memories were able to return, then I would get pushed back out instead, theoretically. There might be another solution, but aside from what I just said, nothing comes to mind. I feel awful that I made you lose your memories. Let's work together to try and get them back. Aight. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. I kind of expected a... Ah, you better start running. Or maybe a fuck you. But uh, I would have understood completely if you were that harsh with me. You're pretty accepting of things. Huh? A very mellow temperament. It might be strange to say, but I'm glad that I, it was your mind I got stuck in. Well, I guess that's just how it is. From now on, I'll work with you as hard as I can to get your memories back. I'll do anything you need me to do, is what I want to say. But I actually have some limitations. Just a few. I can't interfere with the human world. I can't touch you and you can't touch me, thank heavens, otherwise this would be a very, very weird game. What's more, people around us won't be able to see you or hear me or touch me or anything like that. Again, uh, thankfully, because that would be a weird game. <coughs> so I can't investigate much for you and I can't move in your stead. In fact, I can't move more than 10 meters away from you. I said I'd do anything, but it looks like all I can really do is cheer you on. So, sorry in advance. Mm. What? It's better than having no one, right? No matter what, I'll always be by your side. You can do it, I believe in you. I promise it won't be like, the culprit was Orion all along. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks. I'm happy you would say so. <laughs> then uh, let's uh, both do our best. My best meaning not a lot, but... Uh. So you really can't remember anything, huh? What about your name? Do you think you can at least remember your name?
well. According to my channel with 24 subscribers, my name is either Bunny, Pirate, or Holly. Holly sounds normal. <laughs> uh, she's normal letters. That way it doesn't look weird. <laughs> yes, confirm name entry. Holly, is, is that your name? It just kind of popped into my head, I guess. <laughs> I, I see. But if that's what you remembered when you thought about your name, then it's probably correct, I guess. Good. Good. We're moving forward. One step forward. Alright then. There's no point staying here, so let's, uh, let's go back to your world. Huh? What's, what's this place? Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, hard to explain. Exactly. The space between dimensions. That's the closest description, anyway. This world has many possibilities, and there exist as many parallel worlds as there are possibilities. For example, in one world you may be going to school, and in another you may be just working. This is the space between those many parallel dimensions that isn't connected to any of them. To put it bluntly, right now you're suspended in the rift between worlds. But I don't know which world you came from. Oh, but any world is still a world that you were in. There's no such thing as a right or wrong with parallel worlds. So let's, let's go back to the world you were in and recover your memories. Simple, eh? There are a lot of ways to do it, like talking to your friends or looking at your phone's history. Oh, but just a sec, you have to be very careful of who you trust. Humans are brutal and cruel beings. You should only tell people you, who you really trust about your amnesia. Otherwise, they might try to give you memories you've never had. Like, you owe me $10,000, so you better pay back, or something. There's no way you could tell if they, what they said was true, right? Some horrible jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your actual one. You might be told you don't have a job and then get fired later on. Or someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. <laughs> or maybe you'd wind up in a situation where you, you, fa you, you found yourself being shipped overseas for some strange reason. Right? It'd be terrible if that happened, right? 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 <laughs> it would be terrible to leave the great country of Japan. Right? <laughs> Tell me I'm right. Uh, uh, well, I think you might be overthinking that just a little bit. <laughs> you think so? Uh, let's think the opposite. You get lucky. You meet a nice person. You tell him or her your situation. In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories return. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes, for the most part, you'd just be shut up, right? <laughs> for other people, that might be okay, but for you it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. They're being pushed out by my existence. So staying at home or at the hospital wouldn't help. In fact, without stimulation, you'd just get worse. Sitting around, spacing out in the hospital room without any memories would worsen your mind. You might forget how to drink water or even how to breathe. <sighs> Advice to avoid such terrible, terrifying ending Number one, gather information. Try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. <coughs> Who you, your family, and your relationships were and what you were doing. Increase your knowledge and fill up that outer part of your memories. Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something and the rest of your memory should return. 
As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. It's a long shot, given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we have. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative things. But first, I think it would be good to confide in your family. They won't believe that a spirit got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide some information. We can think more about the plan after that. Now let's go back to your world. That'd be fun. The method is simple, just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whatever world you can recall is the world that you desire. Only, I can think- I think there are several worlds like that. <coughs> Choose the world that you feel is right. Right, so I've seen a little bit of Spade World. Uh, like, I watched another pl uh, YouTuber play a little bit of Spade World. So, I don't really feel like doing that one first. <laughs> I might do it second or third, but I don't want to do it first. Uh... Ooh. I know all the boys behind these symbols, so... <laughs> uh... I kind of want to know more about Heart World, but at the same time, Clover World also interests me. Uh... <coughs> um... I feel like Heart World would be better. I think Heart World would be a better start to this. Yeah, let's go to Heart World. Yay, achievement! What? Hey, you, wake up, please, wake up, quick. Just get up. Get up. Get up. But you're up! I. Uh, what do we do? This is a hospital, isn't it? Isn't this a hospital room? This looks like a hospital room. I'm scared of hospitals. Can we not be here? 